Hey, it's Dr. Linda Davis, and today I want to walk you through a GIMP exercise. We're going to take an image and bring it into GIMP, and we're going. it's going to have a white background on it, and we're going to remove that white background and make that background basically transparent. So let's walk through the steps. So I'm first going to go into File, Open, and I'm going to go navigate back to where this image is. And there's the image. It's just a picture of a camera with a white background, and I'm going to open that. And it's in a JPEG format, and you can see the gray. You can see the white background. And you can see the and you can see the camera. Uh, the gray part is not part of the GIMP canvas. It's the white and the camera itself. That's the image. Uh, so what we first want to do is we want to go up to the layer menu item, and we want to navigate down to transparency. And one of your choices in transparency is add alpha channel. And we want to select that option. And nothing really happens on the screen yet. So until we start doing some other things. So I'm going to go over to the toolbox. My toolbox is on the left side. And I'm going to find the fuzzy select tool. I always tell my students it looks like the magic wand. So, But it is, it's really called the fuzzy select tool. So click on that. Now, uh, at this point, we want to take it. Our mouse will change to look like the little magic wand. And we want to go over to just the white background area, any place on the white background. And we want to click one time. And you'll notice something does change on the canvas. We have these marching ants, I like to call them, that go all the way around the camera. But they also go all the way around the white part of the image as well. So that just means that white part has been selected. And it's waiting for you to do something to it. So. As we originally stated, we want to delete the white background, delete being the keyword, because you have a delete key on your keyboard, and I want you to select the delete key, not the backspace key, but the delete key. So I will hit the delete key, and notice how the background's gone, and it is replaced by a checkerboard pattern. And if you don't know, the checkerboard pattern indicates transparency. Okay, so you're kind of done, except that you just need to save the image and you need to save it in a different format. So let's do that next. We're going to go up to File and we want to select Export As. And that will let us change it from a JPEG file to a .png file. And you may say, well, why do we need to do that? The reason is JPEGs cannot support transparency. And that's what we've just done to this. So we're going to say Export All and or Export As. And we're going to go up to Name. I can leave it called Nikon, or I can say Nikon Finished, or Nikon Transparent, whatever I want to call it. But it's the, it's the JPG part I've got to change because it can't support transparencies. So I'm going to leave that as Nikon.png. PNG files can can support transparency, um, have you know tons of color choices, great resolution. It's just the better way to go on an image is .png. So there's Nikon.png now. And I'm going to um, export that. In fact, I think I already have one named that. So let me just call it Nikon2.png. And I think I need my little dot in there. There we go. All right, Nikon2.png. And let me hit the export button you see at the bottom. And it's going to go through its paces. And it wants to make sure export image as PNG. Yes, I do. So I hit the export button at the bottom again. And notice the green line, green bar goes across. That lets you know it's working. So that's what it's done. Now, if I, just to test it out, let me jump to a PowerPoint slide that's already got a background color on it. And I will insert this picture we just finished with. Just lets you see how that works. Now here's Nikon 2. That's the one I just finished up on and I will select that and I will insert it onto the PowerPoint and you can see there's no you know no, there's no white background going on and that's you know that's the process for getting rid of the backgrounds uh, when it's possible and renaming it as a .png image thank you for your time have a great day